This is a demonstration of the integration between MuniCity 5 and DigiPlan. To launch DigiPlan, simply locate the icon in the upper right hand corner on the Overview tab. DigiPlan will open a new browser window and load all of the attachments located on the Media tab directly into DigiPlan. To load a document into the viewing window, select anywhere in the row of that particular attachment. Once the document is loaded, the viewing panel for the list of attachments can be closed down to maximize your viewing area. DigiPlan has a robust set of features that include navigation functions, user and department information, and all of your standard comment and markup tools. We'll begin by reviewing the department and login information. In the upper right hand corner, you're provided with a configurable list of departments and permissions for these departments can be restricted based on the user. Below that, you're given a list of navigation functions such as zooming, zoom to fit, zoom in and out plus and minus, and pan tools. To the left, we have our comment, text markup, shape, and measurement tools. We'll demonstrate a few of them now. First, let's zoom in on the garage area, and we'll begin by demonstrating the measurement tool. We'll simply measure the distance of this door located between the garage and the house. We can see that it is 3.2 feet. Next, we'll demonstrate our callout box, which is a text box with a leader arrow. Once placed, all comment and textual markups have a style function that allow you to change the opacity, thickness, text size, and color of the text, the border, or the fill. Next, we'll demonstrate the standard text feature. The standard text can be housed directly in DigiPlan or can be fed from Municity 5. We have several search functions within the standard text option as well. We have a free text search function. So if we were looking for a text that included garage, simply type the word in and our list is narrowed down to any occurrence of the word garage. In addition to the free search, we have grouping and sorting functions within each column, which allow us to group by that information. So if we're lo looking for building codes, we simply open this and now we see the nine building codes that are loaded within this particular version of DigiPlan. Once we've located the standard text that we wish to place, we're given three options. We can insert as a, as a comment icon, which is similar to a sticky note, as a text box, or as a general comment. Let's add this one as a sticky note. Once placed, you're given a box, which allows you to edit the text very quickly. Go back to the standard text and we'll select this standard text comment and add it as a free text box. In addition to the commenting and markup tools, we have some additional measurement tools. For that, let's navigate over to the guest house. The first measurement tool we'll use is for area. Simply select the outline of the area you wish to measure. Once completed, you're given that information by hovering your mouse over the area, or in the lower right hand corner, you're given a dialog box to provide that information. We also have a perimeter measurement tool, an ellipsis measurement tool, and a rectangle measurement tool. We have shape features, which include your standard shapes, as well as a bubble. 
So if you wish to bring attention to something in the drawing, you can place something like this around it. We also support inserting images. So if you had a standard detail to include of something such as a footing, that would be easily insertable onto a sheet. DigiPlan also supports simultaneous planner view. We'll bring in another window that will include the comments from our first session. This particular session is logged in as a different user altogether. We can see that we're viewing the same areas in both sessions. I'm going to make a free text comment as the planning reviewer right next to this guest house. And if you'll watch the back window, you'll be able to see how quickly it's updated. Now let's look at some of the stamping features. If I zoom to fit from this particular sheet, I can go up here to my stamp function and indicate that corrections are required. DigiPlan stamps are dynamic and they're intelligent. They pull information directly from Unicity 5 including the record and application number, the date, the reviewer information, and can be configured to look like stamps that you currently use. Now we will issue a corrections report. We will return to our documents list and select our plan set, go to processes and select corrections required. DigiPlan will then create a report that will include this sheet with markups on it and a cover letter, including a detailed summary of all of the comments and markups made. It will automatically add that to our documents list and feed that information back into Municity 5. The report has been attached to our media tab. And from here, we can email the document from within Municity 5 or download it to print it or email it from our email to the applicant. Here's an example of the cover letter, which is configurable. The summary of all of the comments and markups made and the sheet that includes all of the comments and markups that we indicated in the plan review process. Now let's upload a revision and we'll demonstrate the compare functions. So we'll navigate back to the overview page and launch DigiPlan from the DigiPlan icon. We'll select our revised sheet and our first set of plans and open the DigiPlan compare function. DigiPlan takes version one of our plan set and version two of our plan set and generates an overlay. This allows us to easily see the differences between version one and two of the document. We can see that there were some comments added in version two. The door is wider than it was in version one. And if we navigate over to our guest house, we can see that they even made an addition of a window in the guest house that was not on version one. This allows plan reviewers to check for the, con the corrections that they requested in addition to items that may not have been requested but are different in their further resubmissions. From this page, we are also able to go to our current doc markups and work from our list of all markups as a checklist. As we navigate through, 
and items have been addressed. Simply close the items. Should any items remain open and need to be moved to the second cycle of plans, simply migrate those forward. DigiPlan will take those comments and move them to the new version of the sheet. Now we need to create an approved set of plans. We'll take four of the sheets from cycle one and our sheet from cycle two, stamp them and merge them together to create an approved plan set to return to the applicant. To do that, we'll go to our plans tab, select the sheets, and I'll point out that DigiPlan is tracking the sheet versions and does not include the first version of sheet 2.2 for our approved plan set. We'll stamp these plans approved. Reselect them and run a merged plan report. Once DigiPlan completes running the plan report, it will add it back into our documents list and automatically feed that information back into Municity 5 to be distributed to the applicant. Once again, we're provided with our cover sheet that include any remaining open comments, as well as the approved plan set, which includes our second version of sheet 2.2.